Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about prep steps. How to prep to do a yoga handstand. Now today, looks like we might have a guest. My little dog is not feeling so great, so she's probably going to share my mat today. <laughs> yes, yeah, my sweet girl, my little downward dog dog. We're talking about prepping to do a handstand because it's one of the poses that a lot of people are nervous about and there's a good reason. You can really hurt yourself doing a handstand if you're not careful. You don't hurt yourself necessarily by falling over, although that's sometimes the case, rarely, but it can happen. The real way people hurt themselves is if they're not using their muscles correctly. Maybe they're not toning their abdominals the way they should. Maybe they're not drawing the legs together to be a unified uh, lifting point. So these are the kinds of things we're going to talk about today. Prepping to do a handstand includes dealing with the three main segments of the body. First, arms. Now if you're going to be standing all your body weight on your arms, first you have to make sure that your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are healthy. You also need doctor's clearance to go upside down. So if you've had any issues with glaucoma, you've recently had any kind of problems with migraines, some women don't like to go upside down when they're menstruating, other people have trouble with inner ear conditions, you're going to need to make sure that your doctor signs off on you being upside down, even sometimes in poses like downward facing dog. The second piece we're going to look at is the strength of your arms. Great way to prepare to do handstands is to just do some push-ups. So I'm going to use my little girl right here as my encouraging force. I'm on my knees. I'm going to do just a simple half style push-up. So I'm just going to take myself into a couple of these. <laughs> smushing her and I do that regularly to get my body ready to do an actual handstand because without the arm strength don't kid yourself you ain't gonna last very long the second segment you want to think about are your legs now when you're prepping to do a handstand you're actually going to kick your legs up one at a time obviously you don't get yourself up with both legs unless you're more advanced so I'm going to do a downward facing dog facing the wall and I'm just going to try to kick the wall a minute and see if I can't make some contact. So here I go, preparing my downward facing dog, hands on my mat, shoulder width. I'm going to step one of my feet halfway to my hands and I'm just going to see if I can use the back leg to kick the wall. Now the leg needs to stay straight as I'm swinging it up. So I'm going to take a deep breath in and as I exhale I'll push with my front foot and I'll swing my back leg up and I'll do it one more time so you can hear me hit the wall. That thud is the sound you're looking for. Now putting the two together you can actually do <sighs> a downward facing dog with your legs on the wall to strengthen your arms. So I'm going to place my hands in the shoulder proper width position for a downward dog now. This is a little wider than my shoulders. I'm going to look back at the wall, put one foot up on the wall and then the other until my body's a right angle. So this is a great way to build the arm strength and also experience being upside down as you would be in a handstand. Again, deep cleansing breath when you're done. The part that brings it all together, the abs. Poses like boat pose can help with strengthening the abdominals, doing simple crunches, any kind of sit-ups or work on an exercise ball for abdominals is a great way to strengthen your core. So we work with arm strength, we make sure we have our doctor's permission. We work with the legs swinging up to the wall. The leg you take up first is straight. The pusher leg obviously is bent. And then the abs have to be strong to connect it all. This is step one of prep steps for prepping to do a handstand. Make sure you join me for part two. Where I'm going to show you actually some ways to get up, stay up, even if you have wrist issues or problems with your balance. Please subscribe to my channel, share with a friend, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time for more prep steps, how to do a handstand.